hi guys i want to take you once again the new changes i've just made this time so if you go to the ussd and uh, on your phone i hope yesterday i showed you how to access it through your phone the code if you don't have it you can just inbox me and then i'll tell you so but i'm going to use this uh, sandbox africa is talking to test and see the new functionalities that are made if i click on call you can see the new menus request cash request cash receive cash send status report check cash balance check float re balance request cash and float is what we know receive cash is this is uh, when the driver picks the cash and takes to the agent at the shop uh, when the agent receives the shop the driver will, will ask the agent for a code there is an otp code that is sent to the agent and then he will to authenticate or to acknowledge that he has given the agent the cash he will enter that code for the agent and the system will reconcile on the back office that code send status report at the end of the day the agent is supposed to send the status report whatever has been withdrawn total that has been withdrawn total that has been deposited and also all oh, the cash in hand so you can use that one they check cash balance it's for checking the cash balance check float balance for checking float balance all right i will start with the first menu request cash or float just click ok now you enter one we're going to start with cash request click enter enter the account number i'm going to enter that account number so the account number is linked to an agent if you open the agent in the system here on the agents click on agents if you open any agent it's an account number associated with every agent this is the same account number that will manage the float uh, float balances so there's this account here account number the agent account number so every agent will have an account number and the limit uh, is temporarily showing whatever limit the, uh, the agent is supposed to be given as float which represent the factor of yesterday we are saying is that if the agent was given one million um, uh, as float or cash and yesterday managed only to use two hundred thousand there's no need to give him today again one million so the the agent limit today will be to me will be now two hundred thousand that's what you request from the cash office so let's continue i'll enter the uh, the account number that one i'll enter the amount that i'm requesting let me say i'm requesting uh two million one two three one two three i select whether it is usd or ssd let me start with usd request has been recorded kindly await approval you receive a code in your phone please give the driver this code so what will happen is when uh, the cash office the store's office will approve that transaction automatically a code will be sent to the agent so when the driver will take the cash or ever sending with sending the cash to the agent he will ask he or she will ask the agent for that code and that code is the code of authentication acknowledgement i'll show you how to acknowledge that code so uh just been received this code in the system the erp and see that transaction from there i'm going to go to here go to agent management go to agent transactions i go to agent cash and float so remember my transaction number was the amount was 200,000 the current is always at the top mm -hmm. so that was sent to me that is the agent if I open through it I'll see that information here so the amount issued was 200,000 there you can see all that information the agent that now agent uh, number account number was that name of the agent was that was ussd and then down there 
when we approve we'll get a call that will be sent to the agent when the driver calls the cash and the agent gives him a code and he enters through the ASD we receive the amount the driver will indicate the exact amount we may the, the agent may have requested 2000 but we will approve only 1000 so we we'll, on the driver will indicate the amount he gave to the agent plus the code that the agent has given him all this will be displayed here we see how it happens so straight away i'm going to approve these entries i click on post entry so these are the cash office or the stores please enter some description i'll edit then put some description here say uh, received then i'll save when i and i post entry to go to post it post assuming i gave him all the 200 the 2 million so what what is happening here is it will move it to post it and the other thing is it to send the code the otp code one time password to the agent and then it, can, it also sends to the email the same code is sent through the email to the agent and then when you approve here um the next person to approve will be the accounts manager the, the first one was the chief accountant next one is the account manager you can log in as the chief accountant and you'll post entries and then the, uh, the md or the ceo will log in and will validate the entries from here so you can see the otp has been generated 5974 the same otp has been sent to this agent here with this phone number which i've already captured in the system and also the email if they had an email so now we validate the entries here and give two million to the driver and tell him please take to the agent or we validate to move to confirm it goes to confirm so that's good it also creates a journal entry for us if you open the journal entry here click on it you see the journal entry of 2 million it is posted remember all journals are in the base currency that is why you are seeing uh, the base currency is SSP for all of them because uh, we always have a base currency when you are posting into accounting the transaction can be either in SSP or in, uh, in USD but the journal the accounting is always in the best currency so you can also see the report before you can take the money to the client at the end of the day you can go and see the report for this kind of cash book or general ledger just come here and then I go to accounting Accounting, reporting, uh, general ledger. And now look for that particular transaction. Just come here, search for only that. FB, just this one here. Only one I want. I can see all the entries there, including my 2 million. But there's some other transaction that was entered originally, the currency. Two million was debited and it was also credited to capital account two million was credited to capital account right there you can export the transaction to excel so every day this keeps track of all the transactions including the opening balances or the request also the transaction withdraw and deposit will still come here so you have a summary at the end of the day that is balancing you can preview Yes, it will be in, it will be in PDF. I now cannot my system does not have a PDF, but if you ask us, you can do this to go into PDF directly or you can send to Excel clicking here. So that's how it works. Excel that would be the general ledger. Come open the 
here. Right here. So that's how it is. This is still. So this will host all the summary of all the reports that you're having, the capital account and the transactional account for it. So next I'm going to look at uh, I'm giving the money to the to the driver two million and then the driver can go now and can receive the can go and the driver will have also the code but the driver will, will take the two million to the agent the agent will receive the two million or uh, if the driver maybe there may be a mistake and then some money just got lost along the way so you may go with maybe 18 1 million 800 thousand instead of 2 million so the agent will give him the code and the driver will end exactly the amount he has delivered to the agent so how, how is he going to do still in the ussd here go there so assuming they received uh now they select option two the driver selects option two to receive the cash it will enter the agent account number that same account number the agent will give him the account number and then you enter the agent code he received so the agent code will be this one the driver does not know it only the agent can tell him that please enter 5974 and the driver will enter 5974 59.74 and then you'll enter the amount if it was 1800 you just say i'll receive 1,800,000 set of 2 million the new cent thank you for confirming the receipt of cash and if you come to our transaction in the erp you you refresh let's see what will happen to this and here in the logs what has happened So remember this is in the field. You realize that now uh, the amount received here, we just start from here. The amount received was 18,000 and the agent gave him the code 5974. The amount was received is 18,000 and the code is 5974. If I enter a wrong code, instead of 5974, agent gives me a wrong code to enter. Let's see what's going to happen if I enter wrong code. Uh, that is receive cash. Enter wrong code. 4567 cent. Oh, sorry. Account number first. Sorry. I have to start with the account number. To receive cash. Or even I enter wrong account number first. Let's see what will happen. When I and that code agent code arm one end of the amount see what will happen agent code that end up does not exist you can see it always checks if it really exists so it has to give you the right code so that is as far as uh, the whole cycle of sending and receiving money back in the cash office. Another journey is now the evening reports. The agent have to send the reports for the cash and the float. I've already done that in the USSD. Remember the same thing, you can come here and do it directly. Instead of doing from the USD, you just create a transaction directly from here, cash float enter the agent name enter the ledger and all that enter the collector enter the collector phone with the driver enter the amount issued there and then post entry the posting the otp will be generated and sent to the driver again so you can either do it on the usd or log into the erp and do the request again for cash both cash and float you can do both of them in the erp now next is uh, we want to do the agent's uh, evening report submission so it come here so what you are building into it is that uh, every time the report is ready and the a certain amount limit of amount is reached automatically to send an alert to the to the collecting officer we are going to configure the collecting officer in the system 
to go and pick the cash that has reached that threshold that is required so that they can deposit in the bank. But now, how do they submit the report? They come here, send this a menu called send status report. Just type it three, send status report, and the account agent number. Still the same, I'm going to use the same. The one that I've just worked on. Agent account number under that one under the, the beginning amount. Let's say the beginning amount was that and the cash received. Let's say the cash received was that and the total customer cash deposit. The customer deposited almost that. And the cash in hand, the customer's cash in hand is that. Thank you, the daily report has been submitted. Let's go into the system and see the daily report. So you go to transactions, then we have agent daily report. So it's there for Hipanka. The agent is there. You can open and see all the transactions that have been created for the information from there. Daily report. So this daily report, it will auto-reconcile the report from TTL automatically. 